Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And today I'm here with a Goodwill Dollar Day haul. This is actually the second half of my day. Um, the first half was one store and I did that haul already and that was 62 items. And then this second half of my day, I got, I got 37 items at a second store. And um, so yeah, Dollar Day in Los Angeles. Not all items I bought were a dollar, but many of them were. And it just brings down that average cost of goods, um, you know, brings it down a little bit. And I love dollar days. They're usually really great for me. Every once in a while it's a miss, but today was a really great day. And I think I found some great stuff that I'm excited to share with you. So if you aren't already subscribed, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And if you like this video and these haul videos, uh, hit the thumbs up. It means a lot to me. So um, yeah, 37 items. I spent $139.88 on these items. I should, based off of comps, I should be able to get an, a sale price for all of these items between $1,248 and $1,523. So somewhere in that range is what I'm expecting. Um, I do go by comps, so these items have not sold yet. But if you are interested in seeing some of my sales and some of the information around those, not all of my sales, but some of them that I highlight, I do have uh, lots of what sold videos that hopefully can be helpful too. So let's just jump right in. I'm going to start with just a couple pairs of shoes and then we'll jump into some clothing. So, uh, <laughs> first pair of shoes, my first time finding this brand, this designer, and these are Christian Louis Vuitton. And if I'm saying that incorrectly, I, I, it's okay. It, we're, we're, I'm, I'm going to be okay. Everyone's going to be okay. I do not speak French. And so I'm sure I'm saying it somewhat incorrectly, but, um, yeah, there's what it looks like. Now I did find this exact style. So this is the Asteroid Nude Spike and Strassed Cat Toe Platform Heels. And these have Swarovski crystals on them, on the front. And yeah, this is my first time finding this. Now keep in mind, there are two missing studs. And I did find out that when I looked at others, right here and right here, same, same place on both both shoes. Um, I did find out that those are kind of a higher, you know, pointier stud. So I'm guessing maybe those were hit on something. I mean, I can't imagine wearing something like this, but they are fun and funky. So <clears throat> these were $12.99. If you want to see, I didn't take the stickers off because I was going to wait to get them authenticated, but it's already past the time I can return them. So I still need to get them authenticated, which I will. And this is a brand that I have heard from many people uh, that is oftentimes deemed as not authentic and can create some problems if you are trying to sell it. And, you know, anyway, so this is definitely a brand that I've heard by many people um, that it's best to pay the 20 bucks to get it authenticated or, or whatever you pay. There is a little bit of like a couple signs of wear you know, on the heel a little bit. Um, but overall, they're actually in pretty great shape. I've also heard that you can paint the bottom red. There's a lot of things you can do. So here's some wear over on this patent leather. <clears throat> a little bit of, like it's almost like it's dented a little bit in the patent leather right there. But um, yeah, so first up, I'm gonna get these authenticated. If they are in fact authenticated, I'm probably gonna take them to a shoe cobbler, see what they can do about this larger stud that's missing. I don't think I can look and see if there's replacement studs um, available, but it's pretty crazy that all these little crystals are Swarovski. Swarovski. I don't know why I'm having a hard time saying that. Um, so yeah, funky, fun. If they're real, I think $12.99 was a bargain and I think I could get them cleaned up and hopefully repaired a little bit. And yeah, I, the, uh, the MSRP on those, from what I can see from my research was $1,435, which is mind blowing to me. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I was pretty excited about it and that's first up. The next year, not as exciting, but they were a dollar. And these are, let's see, just two pairs of Sam Edelman sandals. And you know, these are, I don't know what the name is, but I, I wanna say T something, T strap sandals or something like that, but just kind of classic, basic, um, not too bad of wear. And they were a dollar and then another pair, I think. So the Christian Louis Vuittons are 37, size 37. And then the um, one pair of these was an eight and a half and one pair was a nine. 
And the only difference really is this bottom part is kind of textured on that one, but either way, I'm hoping to get about um, 12 to 15 for each of those. And I don't think I mentioned, if the if these are real, um, comps are all over the place. I probably would start high, just about $4.99. And it just depends on how well I can get them cleaned up. But let's just say I can get them cleaned up. Uh, probably gonna start these about $4.99 with the certificate of authenticity and hope for about 300 to 400, depending on how long they sit and depending on, you know, the condition I can get them in. But anyways, all right. So moving on to some clothes, I was really excited to find this brand and I believe I heard about it through Laura Von V, which she has a YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. I'm pretty sure she had either mentioned this brand in a haul video or she had mentioned it on her Instagram, but she is LA based. Uh, she is someone I would consider one of my reseller friends. And um, I think I, I found, or I saw her talk about this brand one time, but it's a silk dress. It's got a tie around the waist. It's longer style. And it's just this fun print. It's a piece apart. And size two, but it's, it's yeah, it's beautiful. It seems like it's well-made. Um, and the comps on this look to be pretty great. I'm hoping to get about 75 to 100 for that. So Lori, if it was you that mentioned that, thank you. Cause I don't know if I would have, I mean, I probably would have looked it up just based off the tag, but um, I don't know if it would have stood out as like, oh, I'm excited to find that. So I did pay full price for that. I, I think it was worth it. This one I probably shouldn't have paid full price for, but it was a new to me brand. And when I first looked it up, some of the stuff can go for quite a bit. It's a little hard to read, but Enza Costa. And it's just, they actually have really nice basics. Like this is a, I thought I just saw a mark. Is that a mark? No. Um, so the front is just kind of basic sleeveless, a midi dress. And then the back has this kind of knot detail and then the cutout right here. So um, yeah, this is a size extra small. I'm hoping to get about 30 to 35. I probably shouldn't have paid full price of $8.99 for this. Um, but again, I wasn't looking up comps. I, I look up comps very quickly in the store and I just thought it was going to be worth a little bit more, but yeah, still good brand to learn about and hopefully it will sell. This is an anthropology dress and I got it because it's a size large. It's easy to wear. It's just stretchy. It's cotton. It's got the elastic waist, great little pockets which I thought are adorable. And this is the brand Cory Lynn Coulter. I have picked up this brand before from Anthro and it hasn't sold, I don't believe. But um, I just thought the size, the comfort, just it's easy. I did pay full price for this as well. Not expecting as much, just think it's gonna be more of a quick seller. It's not really the right season, but I feel like it's a good, you know, throw a cardigan over and just kind of, yeah, I just liked it. So I'm hoping to get about 30 to 35 for that. And I'll probably start, you know, right about 50. All right. Or 45 is probably where, where I'll start. This one was another brand that I had to look up. Subtle Luxury. And it's just this really pretty light blue linen dress with kind of the flutter sleeves, kind of a shift style. And are there pockets? No pockets. But I did look up this brand. I don't know where they sell it. Um, this is a size small medium. I did get this for a dollar and it looks like I should be able to get about 20 to 25 for this. And I just thought it was pretty. This is an anthropology dress. This was a dollar. So I thought it was worth picking up. I have sold this brand pretty quickly before. And I just thought it was kind of a button front, um, print dress, kind of cap sleeve. So it's the 11-1- no, 11-1- Tylo. I'm not sure how you say it, but size medium, just a fun print. So only hoping for about 20 to 24 for that, but I still think it's going to photograph well. This is a Club Monaco. I don't pick up this brand most of the time, but I thought this would look really great on the mannequin. This is Club Monaco. This is a size small, and it's just this really pretty blue gray color kind of a stone gray color. And it's got the ruching on both sides. So it's just kind of one of those very flattering style 
kind of fitted dresses and just soft and comfortable. <laughs> so I think I wish it was my size. So I'm hoping to get about 20 to 28 for that. This one I was really excited about because I had seen it a couple weeks in a row and I love this brand. I've had very good luck with it um, in selling pretty quickly and selling for a good amount. Um, but I didn't want to pay full price for it because I don't know. But it ended up being a dollar on dollar day. No one got it. And it's CP Shades. So it's kind of just a flowy. This is kind of a lag and look brand. If you don't know what that is, lag and look, L-A-G-E-N-L-O-O-K. Um, kind of just a key term, keyword for eBay and a style. And a lot of people say, what's her name, Diane? She was in Father the Bride. I can't remember. Um, anyways, uh, Diane Keaton, I think, um, is kind of known for kind of the oversized, kind of flowy, lag and look style. There are other people too. I think it's just a, it's a contemporary style. I would be happy wearing it, but <laughs> anyways, the tags are always a little hard to read, so it's there. This is a size small, and I'm actually hoping to get about 50 to 60 for this, which is great. All right, this one I picked up also for a dollar. I had seen it a couple weeks in a row and I was really disappointed to see that the comps weren't great, but I love a short sleeve shift style dress. This is an XL. I, I would wear this, except I have nowhere to wear it, but man, oh man, if I lived in San Francisco, this would be a keeper for me. Um, I just love the colors, the print. So it's Anself, and I'm not sure where they sell this. It might just be like a boutique or something from China. But it actually feels well made and I don't know I mean it might not be either of those two things it might be sold somewhere I just didn't have a chance to look but I just like the zigzag I like the color scheme the gray kind of coral anyways so I'm going to only hope probably get about 15 to 24 but it was a dollar and I think someone would like it so on a great size all right this one was a new to me brand and some of the stuff can go for a lot but then I did a little bit more research when I was home and thought I shouldn't have gotten it. <laughs> that happens. So this was not a dollar and I'm, yeah. So it is a Cosette and it is expensive, but, and I'm going to start higher, just hoping for the best and maybe just waiting for the right buyer. But the style is adorable. I think there was a flaw and I can't remember where the flaw was but I did write damaged. Oh, that's right. Okay. So I don't know if it is a flaw, but I think it's, I think I can probably just stitch it up a little bit, but basically there's a front slit and you can kind of see hopefully that there's, it's, it's loose right there. So I feel like someone, you know, stretched their legs a little too far. So I think it would be worth more. If, and if I can kind of sew that up, hem that up, like I'm not sure how far down it goes. But I'm going to see what I can do with this because I think it's a really cute style. If I sell as is, I'm only hoping for about 20 to 24, basically make my money back. If I can fix that, I think I'll probably start at about 50 and hope for about 35 to 40. So, but for the sake of this video, I'm going on the low end because I don't have much confidence in my <laughs> sewing skills. All right. This is a, I believe a vintage dress and animal print just never goes out of style. Short sleeve, shift, another one. If I lived in San Francisco still, I would keep this um, just great. And it's Anna of California. And it's a size, there is no size, that's right. There was no tag inside, which is kind of a bummer, but um, it would fit me. So I believe it's probably like an XL, but how fun of a print. I mean, just it's just classic. So anyways, I'm hoping to get about 20 to 26 for that. This one I thought would look good on the mannequin. It's a size six and my mannequin is a size six. And how fun, it's like a little kind of almost retro 80s prom dress kind of look to it. Really pretty bronze color. This is my, one of my favorite colors, green and bronze and the neutrals. But this is BCBG Max Azria. And yeah, it was a dollar, I liked it. I think it'll get probably about 28 to 32. This one, I mean, I have sold this brand, I believe once, 
And I think it's a boutique brand. It's not worth much, but I thought it was cute. Cute little print, not really the right season. It's Amuse Society, which is weird because the tag almost makes it look like it's Society Amuse, but it's flip-flopped. But anyways, it's a size extra small, just an easy wearing kind of summer dress. Um, it only costs a dollar. I'm hoping for about 15 to 20 for that. All right, so I have quite a few favorites, which I already showed some of them. I showed the piece apart, which was one of the favorites, the Christian Louis Vuittons. I probably have another favorite in here. This was my all time favorite of the day. And I am tempted to keep it, but I'm not going to because I know where to wear it. I, you know, I live a pretty simple life. <clears throat> and if you follow me on Instagram or if you follow me on the other, the vlog channel, um, I already showed this, but this is a suede, 100% suede jacket that has this beautiful embroidery. It's a faux fur all down. It's got little clasps all the way down. And this is the brand, Margaret Godfrey. And it's a size 12 and it's beautiful. It's got on the, it's floor length and all the way on the back is the embroidery. It's just stunning. Anyways, I paid full price for this. I paid up for it. I paid $29.99 and I, I loved it so much. I just knew it had to find a good home. I am going to wait for the right buyer. So I'm probably going to start this at about $150 and there are a couple listed um, and I think a couple sold, but I'm hoping for about $100 to $125, which, you know, for spending $30, bucks, not the best return. Like I normally wouldn't spend that much, but I just loved it so much. And if this winter it's still sitting there, like I might actually start even a little bit higher, but I mean, I'd like it to move, but if I could make 50 bucks off of it, an investment of 30 and someone finds this beautiful jacket, I just thought that the size was too great. The style was too great and it's just really well made and just quality. So, um, yeah, I won't take less than a hundred. I'm hoping closer to that, like 125 to 150 range, but, uh, we'll see, but yeah. All right. This one. I don't know if I should have gotten it, but it looks like it's a pretty expensive designer. Um, it is wrinkled, kind of a hot mess, so I need to steam it. And I do apologize for that. This has been sitting in a bag for a week, but good to learn about a new designer. I did pay full price. And according to comps, I should be able to get 30 to 35. It just feels so thin. And it's also hard to imagine until it's steamed, but there's the tag. Proenza Schuler size four and yeah, it's an expensive designer. It's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's like the thinnest thing. It almost feels, and it's sheer. I don't know if you can see my hand through it, but that's what the comps say. So I'm just running with the comps and maybe there's just super fans. I did pay full price of 5.99 for that, but we'll give it a shot. I think I'll at least make my money, double my money, hopefully more, but I've been finding quite a bit of this designer recently and I'm okay with it because I like her stuff. And I've been finding shoes, but this was the first time I found, it's this very kind of um, light knit, feels very delicate. Um, it's Rachel Comey. And what, what is this? This is, it's a size small, it's 100% cotton. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's cute. It's a cute little cropped mock neck, short sleeve sweater. Uh, so with that one, I'm hoping to get somewhere between 50 and 60. She is a very expensive de designer. So that's what the comps say and fingers crossed. <laughs> so I do like this brand. This is an LA based designer and the stuff is pretty basic, but it can go for quite a bit. And I've had some decent luck selling it. I don't pick it up all the time. It really, I do try different styles. This I thought was cute because it has like the racer back tank top. And then it's almost like it's two tank tops or layered tank tops in one, but it's standard James purse and size one is equivalent to a small, I believe. Um, they do have different sizing. So with that one, I'm hoping to get about 15 to 20. Um, all right, this one, another dollar item. And I just liked the color. I liked the style, the flutter sleeves, just a nice little tee. And then the back has kind of the, a little bit more flowy. I don't know if that makes sense, but this is an anthropology brand or sometimes sold at anthropology, Erie and Alley. And yeah, I'm hoping to get about 12 to 15 for that. This was another one that I was 
confused about. I paid $3.99 for it, so that was the full price for the tank. Yeah. And um, it looks like this is a, was it Danish or German? Anyways, it looks like it's a designer somewhere in Europe. I can't remember. It's been, <laughs> it's been a week since I looked this stuff up. Um, O-N-O Kuhn, Ona, Ono Kuhn. Um, I'm looking at it, I would assume Japanese or something, but, um, it is pretty expensive. Um, I, sorry, I guess I should show the piece. I really like the neckline. It's very lightweight. It's got a nice, you know, shimmery print. I'm hoping to get about 30 to 35 for this, but I couldn't find many comps on that designer. Um, so I'm thinking it'll probably sell on eBay international and, um, yeah, we'll see. This was a good size, a pretty blue color, and a dollar. It's a little corduroy jacket, little blazer, long sleeve. It's Tommy, Tommy jeans, Tommy Hilfiger. Um, yeah, I thought it was a really pretty blue. And it's a size, size extra large, which is great. But, which actually, I'll just try it on, because I meant to try it on earlier to say, like, if it ran small or... How the sizing works out you know if you have a if you have any sort of chest these types of things are tough oh it has some stretch okay so I mean it's, it's got some stretch so it's like a fitted um it's like a fitted little blazer cropped blazer so I mean it's not how I would want to wear a jacket so I would say it runs small if it were me even though it does have stretch so it just depends on how someone's but I'll put it on my mannequin which is a size six and it'll probably look great <laughs> and I'll reference that. So probably more like a size large in my opinion, but still cute. All right. This was picked up for fun, paid full price. Couldn't leave behind. It was adorable. OMG. <laughs> it's this little sweater, short sleeve. I believe it's vintage. Carducci. There we go. And I mean, look at this. It's got this bowl on the front. Oh my gosh, he's got a tail. It's so, it's so fun. Um, so I paid five ninety nine for this. I'm hoping only to get about thirty to thirty five, but just adorable. <laughs> so you know, just gotta keep it fun sometimes. All right, a couple t shirts. This is current Elliot. I never find any t-shirts by them. And apparently, according to comps, I should be able to get 20 to 24 for this. But it just says, live, 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 I think. And then the back has Los Angeles, you know, very distressed looking, kind of worn looking. But this is a size one, which I'm, I'm going to have to look up the sizing for current Elliott tops. But here's the, whoops, label. And yeah cute. I was a dollar. So, uh, let's see. This one I thought was a higher end brand, but I think, I think I was wrong or maybe it is. I don't, I don't know, but the comps say I should be able to get about 15 to 20, I guess for a basic tee, that's pretty high, but it's La Casa, La, La Casa. <clears throat> and yeah, it was a dollar basic, but kind of easy going tee. I don't know if there's a little spot on there. I think it's just my eye wandering. But yeah, the comps say about 15 to 20. So I'll take it. This one I got because I liked the style. I thought it would look nice on the mannequin. And this is White House Black Market, a size eight. And it's just got this tie in the, around the waist and button front. And just kind of classic and nice. It feels like silk. I'm fairly confident. Yep, 100% silk. So anyways, that one I'm hoping to get about 15 to 20 as well. This one I picked up. I loved the shoulders. I loved the color, kind of this burnt orange. Just a corduroy blazer. So it looks like it's four buttons on the front. They're just, I just don't have the button all the way. But I love when the, the sleeves do this. Just very feminine. And yeah, the brand is Leon Max might be vintage size six and with that one i'm hoping to get about 20 to 26. 
All right, this is a, another dollar item, just a cute little snap front denim mini skirt, and it's by Free People, and a size four. So with this one, I'm hoping to get about 15 to 20. These I probably shouldn't have gotten. I paid full price, which was $5.99. Oh no, $4.99. Oh, okay. That makes me feel a dollar less bad. Um, I just have a hard time finding longer shorts. And so when I do find longer shorts, I just think there's a lot of people looking for something that's not, you know, super short shorts. And these are kind of lightweight, not the right season, but I thought they were cute. They're made well. They are size 28. Yeah, just easy, easy going. Whoops. So I'm hoping to get about 20 to 26 for those. This is a pair of just J. Crew, regular J. Crew. Really fun, kind of a cobalt blue. Almost has like a purple tint. It's actually blinding me right now in <laughs> the viewfinder. The dollar size four cute shorts. I'm happy with those. Um, yeah, 15 to 20 is what I'm expecting for those. This is my first time. I think this is my first time. I know this is the first time I'm picking up. Uh, I actually picked up. I think I found it once at the bins and it was damaged, but that's when I learned about the, the designer. But it's called Zimmerman. And I do need to give these a good soak because there's a couple spots, but they're white, uh, very wide leg fringe jeans. Look to be high waisted and a size one, which I'm not sure what the equivalent is, but it, just looking at it, eyeballing it, it looks like it's probably a six, eight, an eight probably. Um, so I did pay full price for these because I wanted to try out this brand and I'm hoping to get about 45 to 55. It is a very, the, the dresses, some of the dresses by Zimmerman can go for hundreds of dollars resold. So I will definitely keep an eye out for that brand, but we'll give it a shot with the jeans. This is a pair of Theory size four wool straight leg pants. I mean, there's really not much to show. <laughs> on these. These are cropped, I believe. And yeah, just a great basic. Hoping to get about 20 to 26 for those. It's another pair of Theory pants. And this is just like a light brown, dark tan color. And a side zipper. They almost have, these are skinny. And they almost have kind of an equestrian look. Like, you know how there's the kind of circular part but they are in really great condition. Theory double zero. And uh, they almost feel, they feel very crisp like they've, been, they've never been worn. But with these, I'm hoping to get about 20 to 32. This is a pair of J. Jill Essential Cotton Stretch, size 12. And just, there's a side zipper, but they have some elastic stretch, hence the name. Kind of a slim straight leg. And great basic. I like J. Jill. So with those, I'm hoping to get about 20 to 28. This is another pair of J. Jill. This is plus size though. This is size 16 linen pants. So there's the tag. And they're kind of a light blue, which I thought was really pretty. Perfect for your next cruise. <laughs> Anyone going on a cruise anytime? I've never been on a cruise. I like, I don't know, I feel very confined. I like traveling with freedom. So I don't I don't think cruises are for me, but let me know if you've ever been on a cruise and if that's your thing. Um, so with these, I'm hoping to get about 18 to 22. A couple more. This is a pair of Joe's uh, boot cut jeans. These are called the Honey Straight Boot Cut Jeans. Um, so here's the Joes and these are a waist 27, but really nice dark black color. So it's not really boot. I mean, it is a little bit boot cut, but kind of, yeah, I don't know what the in-between is, but these also feel like they've never been worn and just a really stark black. So with these, I'm hoping to get about 20 to 24 and then... This is a pair of men's Adriana Goldschmied, the protege straight leg. And a really pretty green color. I guess you shouldn't use the word <laughs> pretty uh, to describe men's pants, but I really like the color. 
I'm hoping to get about 30 to 35 for these. And yeah. And then the last thing I'll show, which I know she watches my videos, at least some of them. And she is one of my friends. I saw something. Is there a stain? No. Um, I saw something. It was a dollar. Big spender for my friends. But Denali El Ducho, which many of you know, I comment. We've done collabs, that kind of stuff. Uh, she's always talking about how she works really late and she, um, and she has to wake up and take her son to school and all that stuff. But she's a, a huge advocate of taking naps and I'm not a big nap taker. I, I might take one every six months. Uh, but I saw this and I was like, okay, I'm just going to have to send this to her. So Denali, I need your address. I can send you a text for it, but I got you a shirt. It's nap queen. Cause I feel like that's appropriate. It's no brand. I don't even think there's a size but I think that we're approximately the same size. And yeah, I mean, it's a fitted, but with some leggings, you can wear Nap Queen. Or I'll wear it and then, you know, send it to you. Just kidding. Anyways, that's my, that's my fun little thing for Denali. So I need her address so I can send that. But anyways, so yeah, it was a fun, fun day. And I, and I think I forgot to mention in the last video and I think I forgot to mention in this video, Technically, this was a double color day. I'm just, I, I've lost my marbles with all the vlogging on the other channel. And um, this was two colors of the week. So that's why I was able to get 100 items. And, you know, for spending $306 between both stores, um, it broke down to about $3.10 per item for 99 items. I thought I had 100, but I think, oh, this was 100, but I'm not selling it. So I did get 100 items in the day. And you know, average sale price is between $28 and $36. And that's that's great. That makes me happy. So anyways, fun day. And hit the thumbs up if you liked it. I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys.